Hello. I'm from Australia. Although I have an English father, Australian mother. Some English bloke said that makes me Welsh. So, I don't know what that means, but English people laugh, so I just keep fucking saying it. It's really Welsh people then. Is your language real? <laughs> I, I don't want to be rude, but I've seen it on road signs. It just looks like some fucker tripped over carrying a box of Scrabble. <laughs> Pitcher, have you got the language? Yeah, it's here. <laughs> yeah, that's it there, mate. That's it. <laughs> Well, what's that fucking word? <laughs> what, G double Y double E I N T L L L L L L L W? <laughs> yeah, that spells cat, mate. Cat. <laughs> it's a little weird here in the valleys. <laughs> you don't want to send a text in Wales. Fuck that. <laughs> Yeah, fuck him, not coming. <laughs> Tony Blair, he's funny, isn't he? Oh, I just like him when he goes, you know, these suicide bombers, they have no respect for human life, where us in the civilized world. <laughs> then you have a debate in England about whether you can open your pubs after 11 o'clock. No, we can't do that. Why not? They'll fucking kill each other. <laughs> I thought you said you were civilized. <laughs> Only till 11 o'clock. <laughs> then we all go fucking mental. <laughs> but the Germans must be so happy they lost the war. <laughs> we lost the war. Our pubs are open till six. <laughs> You won the war. <laughs> Time to go to bed. <laughs> Freaky, man. And I'm not a big sports fan, particularly. I don't like it. It, it hurts. You know, swimming, that's a good sport. I do that. No one punches you in the face. But full contact sport with other men, they love it. I hate it. And plus, it took mankind about three million years to walk on two legs. I don't need some Neanderthal prick pushing me back down on the ground every five minutes. We got a point. Did we, mate? Fucking amazing. <laughs> don't eat your orange, dickhead. Leave me alone. Right? What are you into that? I did cooking at school instead of sport. Cooking. I was into death metal and cooking. <laughs> well, I was an angry man, but you've got to eat. <laughs> We have Satan and coriander. You know? <laughs> We're going to raise the devil, but first nibbles. <laughs> but blokes would get freaked out because it's a macho kind of country. They don't like that kind of heavy from blokes, you know. I mean, you cook and use. You gay, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm gay, mate. I'm icing cakes with 30 chicks and you fuckwits are showering together. <laughs> you don't eat your orange. It's strange here. A guy in England told me that if you wear an earring in your right ear, which I do, in England that means you're gay. Is that true? You don't know? It's weird anyway. It's in Australia, it's when you get your cock in another man's ass. <laughs> and I will admit, some of my friends, because they're in heavy metal, they do get freaked out by that kind of stuff, which is very strange because it's a very, uh, it's a very male-dominated genre of music, heavy metal, but it's a very homophobic uh, subculture. Right? A lot of my friends, grown men, still freaking out. Right? We don't like them, Steve. We don't like them. <laughs> Who, mate? Pufters, mate. <laughs> we don't like them. Why not, mate? Well, they're not real men, mate. They're not tough. They're not tough. They fuck men. <laughs> That's hardly gay. <laughs> what a straight guy's one. I want a woman. Soft. 
<laughs> Sleek. Feminine. What do you want, Dave? I want to fuck a bloke. <laughs> I want a big, strong bloke to fuck me in the ass. <laughs> or is that a bit tough for you and your pussy-loving mates? <laughs> you and your vaginas. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you, mate, because we want cock, son. Cock. <laughs> Go and play with your girly tits, you fucking fag. <laughs> Straight, it's the new gay. <laughs> and I'll leave you with that thought. You have a brilliant actor ahead of you. And uh, enjoy yourselves. Welcome. <laughs>